Hey everyone, it's time for another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game scenario. We're on scenario 5.5 here at the Hall of the Crocodile Kings. Uh, so we're winding down uh, this whole campaign uh, after level 5. There's only level 6. So yeah, pretty exciting so far. Uh, ex advancing the Blessings deck, the first thing we get here are the Smoked Glass Goggles. So Intelligence, Craft, Wisdom, Survival 6. Hmm, so Amatep has a Wisdom D6 plus 4, or I mean D6 plus 2. We'll go with a Wisdom check, because they have greater odds. So 2 plus 2 is 4. We could recharge a card uh, and get this card, but it's basically a basic item, item B. So we're not going to be able to trade it to a trader. So we're not too concerned about acquiring that item, so we will let it pass. Uh, we have a lot of good options. We could do an extra free exploration. But instead, we're going to advance the Blessings deck. Okay, we get a Blessing of Beset. Uh, pretty cool, but once again, this is a basic uh, a basic Blessing. So not too interested in acquiring it. It would be, uh, let's see, Stealth, Disable, Craft, Divine, 6. Uh, da -da -da. So we don't really have, well, how about that? So we don't have any of those. So we'll just go ahead and do a Divine. Divine check, we will roll the 3. So we needed a divine six, so there's no way we can get that card. We will toss it. All right, advancing the blessings deck, we get, okay, we get uh, this uh, henchman. So it says here, add one die that invokes the acid or poison trait. Okay, so that's what the Hall of the Crocodile King. So there is no acid or poison trait here. So all damage dealt to you is acid damage. So even though this is a mockery of raw, everything is acid damage. So it's a, even though this says the mockery of raw deals fire damage, since we're in this Hall, it's acid damage. So it says before you act, succeed at a dexterity or disable 12 check, or the mockery of raw is undefeated. Whoa, that is insane. So I don't have any blessings in my hand, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. So it says uh, dexterity or disable. So the explorer's staff, which I have in my hand, allows me to add two dice to my disable check. So my normal disable is d4. So that means I could roll 3d4. Hmm, 3d4. I need a 12. Wow. So 3d4. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. So 3d4. I would need a 12. Wow. Um, don't have any blessings. Uh, let's see. I have the Acid Splash spell. Okay, well, here's an interesting. Oh, this is awesome. So, Mockery of Rock. In my hand, I have the Acid Splash spell. Acid Splash says, for your combat or disable check, discard this card to use your Arcane skill plus 1d6. That is amazing. Okay, so my Arcane skill is d10. Uh, I have a D6, and let's see, is there anything else I can do? Well, this is a spell, and then it says here, with the Explorer's Staff, it says I can discard this card to add two dice to your Disable check. So I'm using the Acid Splash spell. I'm assuming I would be able to add two D10. So that's how I'm going to be playing. Uh, let me know. I'm pretty sure that's correct. So that is pretty amazing because here, well, check that out, right? So I get a total of 14, 19, so that's pretty awesome. So I get 19, I'm rolling to see if I recharge the Acid Splash spell, uh, and I don't. I only needed an Arcane 6 check, ouch, so that's going to hurt. That might haunt me. The Explorer staff gets recharged. Okay, so now I can go ahead and try to defeat this creature. Okay, so it's a Combat 22 check. Uh, I have an Ice Storm spell in my hand, so that's going to be my Arcane skill, plus 3d8. So gathering up my dice here, and I have an Anubis Staff in my hand, which I'm going to recharge. So I get to add a d12. Okay, and I also have a Dory in my hand, so a Dory will allow me to add an extra d4. Okay, so all these dice... Adding two to the result, let's see what we get. So I get one die fell on the floor. So eight, nine, 10, 14, 20, 21. So uh, I can add two 
because of my, the arcane plus two. So I defeated it. I don't have to get that die on the floor. More than enough to defeat the mockery of Ra. It says here, if defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location this henchman came from. So it says here, when closing, summon and defeat the henchman acid pool. So that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, looking through this stack of villains here. Uh, let me find the acid jet creature or henchman. Hmm, should be in here somewhere. Should have done this before the game to set it up because he's not in this giant stack. So he's going to be in another giant stack. All right, so let's go ahead and look in here. Acid pool. Where is the acid pool? Appreciate everyone's patience there. Dun, 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 dun. Acid pool. There we go. Okay, so we have to defeat this henchman in order to close the location. So intelligence, craft, wisdom, survival, nine. So this is level five, so it's increased by five. Okay, and so let's see for here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what we're going to do here. So uh, quickly going to roll to see if I recharge the ice storm spell that I used. And I don't. Okay, so in my hand right now, I just have a frost staff, crocodile skin, madu, and a sirocco spell. So let's see. <laughs> let's see. Non villain, non henchman. This is a henchman. So let's see. I need to roll. Okay, so let's see. Intelligence, craft, wisdom, survival. Wow. Okay, so I guess it's going to be, I guess it's going to be, well, my intelligence is D10 plus 1. So even with an intelligence check, I'm not going to be able to do it. With a craft, can't, wisdom, can't, survival. All right, well, let's go ahead and just roll a D10. So 2, okay, so we fail this check. It says, if, if undefeated, the acid pool deals an amount of acid damage to you equal to the difference between its difficulty to defeat and your result. Okay, so basically that was a 14 I needed, and I rolled a, I rolled a three. So yeah, so I'm taking 11 points of damage. So my hand will be destroyed. Okay, this could actually turn out to be a very difficult location. So reset in my hand, uh, and now I will have to continue through with this location because the way I'm playing this campaign is that I have to close the locations. All right, so let me go ahead and do a slight adjustment here with the lighting. I'm noticing doo -doo 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 -doo. maybe that'll help that out a little, a little, uh, a little too much shadows there. Thank you for bearing with me. Okay, let's try that. So reset the hand, advancing the blessings deck. Let's see what we get. Okay, we get a ghoul. Uh, combat eleven, immune to methyl and poison. Shouldn't be an issue here. I mean, I have the. Uh, Syracuse spell. Let's go ahead and use that. Arcane skill plus 3d8. 3d8. Let's see that. The d8 is what fell on the floor. All right, and we got it. Hmm. And let's roll. So five, six, five, eleven, six, seventeen. Yep, more than enough. More than enough. Okay, this creature is uh there's no way i can uh, recharge this sirocco spell i mean i can if i use the blessing but as it is i'm not too worried about recharging the sirocco spell advance the blessings deck let's see what we get okay the shocking chest dexterity disable or strength 15 well i actually have the blessing of Ra, which will discard this card to add two dice to any strength non-combat check Okay, well this is a non-combat, as far as I'm concerned. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we're going to do 3d8, because Amatep is strong. She is strong. 3d8. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we're all the 7, and the 7 is 14, 15, 16, 17. Awesome. Alright, so we defeated it. It says, after you act... If the result of your check to defeat is less than 17, 
So I rolled, actually it wasn't less than 17, it was on the nose. 7 and 7 is 14, 15, 16, 17, nice, on the nose. So don't take any damage. If defeated, draw a weapon, spell, and an item from the box. That is amazing. So drawing the weapon, we get the poison sand tube. Drawing the armor, we get crocodile skin armor. And drawing an item, we get a noxious bomb. Okay, well, that shocking chest wasn't too exciting. We got all this uh, level one, or level sub one, maybe I should say, uh, items. So we are going to keep the noxious bomb. The other two things we're going to discard. All right, and uh, the hand is reset. Advancing the blessings deck. Let's see what we get. Okay, we get a Graven Guardian of Set. Combat 21. Immune to medicine and poison. So if it will be defeated, reroll the dice. Wow. Pretty cool. I haven't uh, really came across this uh, construct in a while. Well, fortunately, I have an Acid Jet Spell, which allows me to use my Arcane Divine skill, a D6, plus a D6 if it has a Construct trait. So we'll do that. I will go ahead and also discard my Ally Sophronia, which will let me add another 2D6. And I'm going to recharge a Flame Staff so that I can add a D12. Well, let's do it. All right, do we get over 21? We get a 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 18, 19, 20, so we fail. So we fail. But what we can do, of course, is recharge a card. We'll recharge the Noxious Bomb so that we actually do get a total. Actually, so we added plus 2 because of Arcane. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. So we didn't have to recharge a card. We actually defeated the Graven Guardian of Set. But due to his power... We need to re-roll all these dice. All right, and here we get a three, six, and eight. So 14, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so even better. So we defeated this Bane. We're going to recharge or roll to see if we recharge the Acid Jet spell, and we do. All right, always happy to recharge spells with Amaltep. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to reset our hand. We're going to advance the Blessings deck. We're going to straighten up some stuff here and see what we get. Wow, Sightless Starvation. Hmm. So it says here, see below. When you examine, we didn't examine this card, so it succeeded in Intelligence, Wisdom, Survival, Charisma, or Diplomacy 12 check. Okay, well, the Diplomacy is actually D6 plus 2, or I'm sorry, D, D6 plus 4. So we'll go ahead, this is a barrier. We're going to use the Blessing of Abdar. We're going to roll 3d6, and we get to add 4 to this roll. Okay, so we get 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we had to get a Diplomacy 12. Okay, great. That's awesome. So we succeeded that check. But then it says, then succeed at an Intelligence, Wisdom, Survival, Charisma, or Diplomacy check 12, choosing a different skill. Ouch. Okay, so this one is for, hmm, so what are we going to do here? So it has a trigger. We have the uh, Thaumit Klansman in our hand, who will allow us to add a D6. Uh, we'll go ahead, and this time we'll do a uh, Charisma. Yeah, because well, Charisma and Wisdom are both at plus two, so we'll do a Wisdom. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a Blessing of Ra, which allows us to do another D6. So we'll do that. And that's what we got. All right, 3d6 plus 2. So we rolled a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14. Awesome. Final Klansman is recharged. That was pretty cool. That was awesome. We have defeated that barrier. We used up a lot of good cards. Uh, reset in our hand. We're still in pretty good health. Uh, advancing the Blessings deck. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got the dry quicksand. So it says here, dexterity, acrobatics, wisdom, survival. Okay, dexterity is D6 plus 2. Uh, let's see. It's a barrier, not, nothing with disable. 
Okay, it's an obstacle. Okay, we're just going to roll the d6. Okay, so we rolled a 2 plus a 2. So uh, what we do is we fail. So if defeat, if undefeated, display this card next to your location deck and shuffle your token card into the location deck. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to shuffle our token card into the location deck, which is what we're doing. We're just randomly determining which card is on top, which is going to be that card. Uh, so it's that card. Okay, so uh, let me I reshuffle it again. Okay, four. Okay, so it's this card. Okay, so now what we have to do is uh, we will advance the Blessings deck. We'll see what's here. Okay, so it, we can still explore. It's just that we have to evade all boons and bury or all bury or all banes. Thank you, all banes. Okay, but we can still encounter the giant slug. It says here we get to add one die to checks that evoke the acid trait. So that's pretty cool. So that means we can actually add two d six to this giant slug. So here we are stuck in the sand. We find a really friendly giant slug. We acquire him. He's our new buddy. He says that we can, uh, ch -ch -ch. Well, yeah, we don't want to use his ability. He's not that helpful, actually. He's just quirky. Okay, we got rid of him. Uh, we no need to reset the hand. Um, but you know what? There's only one card left in the Blessings deck. So before we recharge our hand, we are going to ch -ch -ch use the Blessing of Kepri to explore our location. Okay, so we, we explore this, we see it. We need a Wisdom 5 check. Let's see if we get it. Uh, so my Wisdom is, D f is D6 plus 2. So we get this Ring of the Godless. We'll add it to our hand. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to use Idori's power to discard this card to explore the location. So we explore the location, we get Amotep back, we banish Dry Quicksand, and now, since there's no cards in the location deck, we have another attempt to try to defeat this location, the Acid Pool. Alright, so we are going to... But you know what? We're not going to try that because we're in pretty bad shape when it comes to ways to defeat the Acid Pool. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to reset our hand. We got this... Is this Ring of the Goddess going to do anything for us? Uh, da, 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 da. So we gained this skill, Divine Wisdom plus two. Hmm. I don't think that's really going to help. I mean, we can try right now to defeat the Acid Pool. I guess that's what we're going to do. So it's a plus five. So we need to... We need to do an Intelligence Craft Wisdom Survival. Okay, looking at my hand, uh, nothing that's really going to help out. It's all just about combat, uh, Ring of the Goddess, Divine, Noxious Bomb. Okay, so it has acid. Hey, and check that out. I forgot to do this originally. Wow. I would have saved myself a lot of trouble if I had just read the Hall of the Crocodile Kings. Because we can add one die to checks that invoke the acid or poison trait. Okay, well, that would have been interesting if we had did that originally. So as it is, we have intelligence. I can add a d10 to my intelligence check. All right. If only I could do that in real life, right? Okay, so D10. Uh, add another D10. And adding one to the result. Okay, so we get a 5 and a 6. So we got 11 plus 1 is 12. We needed a 9, 10. We needed a 14. So Amotep's grand total is 12. We're going to recharge a card. So we add plus 2 to the result. And that means that we have successfully closed this location. Okay. Very, very, I, I like that. I really like that scenario. Uh, pretty awesome. What we're doing is technical difficulties here. Okay, so we have succeeded at closing the Hall of the Crocodile Kings. We might have uh, succeeded a little earlier if we had added one die. Looking back, that's how I had originally planned this whole scenario. I was like, oh, this is difficult. We can add a die there. Live and learn. Okay, so what we got now is the reward for this scenario was a card feat. So let's look at Amotep's card feats here. Let's see if we can, hey, there we go, moving in. So let's see, so for the card feat, um, which is right here, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go for the spell card feat. 
because that will kind of set up with the next power feat we get, which will allow Amatep to discard some spells. So we definitely want to get some spells there. But that means that now that we have an extra spell slot, uh, we didn't gain any high-powered loot. All the loot, or I should say all the, um, all the boons we got were level 1, right? So we really can't, I'm not going to do a deck check here because nothing we got is going to allow us to go to a trader. So I think that's going to just mean that Amotep is going to gain uh, another basic level 1 spell. Uh, so we'll just have to give her one of her starting spells. I'm thinking um, I'll have to check her starting spell list. But uh, that's where we're at. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, that scenario. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, apologize for this light situation and the camera angles today. Uh, just starting off uh, the day. I'll talk more about that later. Maybe in the comment section. Uh, appreciate you watching and have a great day. I'll have another scenario up shortly. Thank you.